uh, <coughs> I uh, just uh, gave a presentation on quality control in general in the industries in general so what is quality control of concrete now quality of con control of concrete is different than quality control of most manufactured products because it's a live manufacturing process it is not you do it in the factory and you define it and then you you sell it so while quality control of concrete is in the process of manufacturing the concrete, sending the concrete, pouring the concrete, uh, waiting for it to, uh, to set, and then uh, uh, watering it so that it becomes, uh, reaches the required strength and taking care of the concrete not to uh, crack. Uh, we have shrinkage cracks, expansion cracks, uh, drying cracks, and so on. So quality control of concrete is, is much more uh, complicated than most people think okay so how to do quality control now quality control of concrete is done in, in more than one step there's a quality control that you have to do at the precast concrete or uh, ready mix concrete factory which is within a closed environment and there is a quality control which you have to do uh, when you uh, uh, transfer, uh, transfer this manufactured material to the site to its final uh, destination. So you can see there isn't a totally one quality control aspect. Also, before you design any construction, uh, uh, engineers and designers will define the strength of the concrete, the quality of the concrete, the mixed design, a lot of things are predefined and when they predefine those items they go into testing and they start actually doing uh, field trials using the defined uh, parameters and modify until they reach what is an acceptable mix design now once you've started a project and you are delivering and uh, pouring the mixed design that is approved by the contractor and the consultant then we start monitoring the quality of the concrete and this is where the civil engineer was required all the time to, to measure the strength of the concrete so one of the major requirements was the strength of the concrete but really there is much more than that because uh, 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 the strength of the concrete is maybe a primary objective, but there's other things like uh, uh, whether the concrete will uh, shrink, whether the concrete will uh, uh, have uh, cracks in it uh, uh, from uh, extreme weather conditions or water vapor and so on. So there are a lot of things that have to do with the construction phase of uh, uh, concrete and this is usually taken care of by the civil engineer and by the project manager and by the supervisors but there is also another quality control which is extremely important and this is the reason why we do uh, for example density tests uh, air content tests uh, 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 some of the lab tests that we uh, we do which many people somehow they don't know why we are doing it all the time why are we all the time checking uh, checking the density the density is uh, something that is, doesn't change too much why are we checking all the time uh, uh, the slum test or the air content or something like this well the reason for that is uh, uh, it's a quality control but it is more in the in the direction of uniform production you want the product to be uniform uniform meaning that i am getting similar results today like i got yesterday like i got the day before like i got the day before like i got the day before and if i'm doing this then my my product is uniform so if the product changes I will say why did it change maybe just the temperature was 20 degrees and now it's 40 degrees 
So this change in temperature will change the product. So we have to make a modification somewhere so that we keep the product the same quality even though the temperature is higher. Maybe I will, uh, maybe the ready mix company changed their cement source. So I should get that feeling because I was checking the consistency of the quality. The quality changed, huh? Why did it change? Maybe the supplier of the aggregates, maybe his crusher is not working very well and the aggregate shapes are not very nice, uh, not as uniform as before. So, so what is happening is that we are in the labs doing repeated work, which may be boring for civil engineers, okay? But you should look at it as a very important step because what you're doing is you are going to catch major mistakes if they happen early on. I mean, the worst case scenario will be to find a mistake in your mixed design and in your mixed properties one month after it's already been poured. Then you are talking about uh, uh, demolishing and the big disaster area. So this is why uh, the laboratories and the uh, testing in the laboratories uh, uh, has more than one function. One function is to test the quality. The second function is to, uh, is to, te uh, to test continuity of the products. So if the truck driver who is delivering concrete does not rotate his uh, mixer all the time, you can notice it on site. And if he rotated more than he should, you will see it on the site somehow in a change of that product. So uh, consistency becomes uh, very important. And uh, imagine if you have a drawing which show you, uh, for example, air content of concrete, and then it is 3%, 3%, 3%, 2%, 3%, 2%, then 5%, then 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 6%. So what does that mean? This means when you got this high what, uh, air content, something happened. Something happened. You have to investigate it uh, uh, and see why, uh, what happened uh, that, that caused that kind of uh, uh, a change in the, uh, in the uh, air content. Now, of course, most of us don't care too much about air content, we take it for granted, but really air content is something that is, could be very important. If I was buying uh, 10 cubic meters of, of concrete with an air content of 1% or 5%, then I am paying 5% more for air when I buy it for 5%. And if my project uh, demands uh, air content of 5%, and uh, what I get is 2%, then my uh, building will be, will be 3, 4% heavier. So I have to take that weight into consideration. So you see, air content is, is, is also important. So lots of those small items that people sometimes don't look, uh, don't understand why they are important, whoever puts them in has a reason for it. And that consistency of the production will make consistency of the project and uh, once the project is well designed and well monitored during construction, then the possibility of having a better uh, project uh, uh, is uh, much more uh, achievable. Thank you very much.